All right, people of the world and students of EO3, this is a really fast video on how to get AutoCAD, AutoCAD Architecture, 3ds Max, uh, Maya, really any Autodesk, you know, uh, Architecture Revit, any of that software for free at home for a couple different reasons. Number one, if you are an educator, a teacher, you can have this software for free your entire career. If you are a student, you can have this software K through 12, also through college, your senior plus three years, the software is free for you. If you are a parent and you have children that are students, K through 12, college plus three years, you can also have this software for free. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, okay? So if you look over at my screen here, all you have to do is type in Autodesk Education. And let me bring that onto the correct screen so you can see it. Okay. If you click this second one, Autodesk Student Community, you'll see that it says free software. What I have to do, you got to sign up first. So go into sign in and you're going to have to create an account and you just say, I'm a student at blah, blah, blah school. You know, I'm a parent of a student, whatever. And I'm just going to sign into mine. Once you get your login, you sign in. Oh, I got to hang on one sec. Six digit code. Okay. Once you sign in, you go back to free software, okay? And you'll see that it's these are the main software that that Autodesk makes. Inventor, Revit, AutoCAD, 3ds Max, Maya, but if you hit see all products, you can see all the things that you can get for free. So for us, if you do AutoCAD architecture, which we're currently working in, or if you do AutoCAD, very simply, version I would pick probably the newest one unless you're still in class with me then I would do 2017 because the file system is a little funny going between 17 to like 18 19 and 20 because they changed the file system but I would just go with 20 if you're at home um, operating system probably Windows 64 bit but here's how you check go to your start menu if you have Windows 10 type PC info and then you'll see it says about your PC and then this window pops up and you'll see it'll say the version of your Windows, but right up here it'll say system type 64-bit. If it says 32-bit, then you'd have to pick 32-bit. I don't know if that's even an option anymore for the newer software. See how for 17 you still have it, um, for 18. So most people are on 64-bit now. It's been around for a while. If your computer's from like the last four or five years, you probably have 64-bit. So anyways, you choose the year, you choose the 64-bit, you hit English. And then this is your, your serial number code. And again, this, this code is good for three years, but you can redo it and resubscribe or, or re-sign up for a new one. A a after three years, you can get the new software every single year. It's really great. And this software is worth thousands of dollars. And this, this is like industry standards uh, software that architects and engineers across the world use. So it's very good software and it's very good stuff. So I would definitely explore this. And I know I've told my students about this before, but now you guys can see it as well pass it on to your parents, pass it on to your kids. If you're in Iowa somewhere and you want your kid to learn how to do AutoCAD because your high school doesn't offer it, subscribe to the channel, get the software for free, follow my videos. You basically have a seat in my virtual class because I do videos all the time and you know I really appreciate it. So subscribe and like and thank you and um, hopefully you guys understand this. If you have any questions, you guys can always email me as well. It'll always be the same email. It's jmcgovern1 at trschools.com. So J-M-C-G-O-V-E-R-N-1 at trschools.com. And you guys can email me and ask me questions. Sometimes people get stuck because they don't see exactly the same page that I'm showing. But listen, I'd love to get this software out there. And, and this is why Autodesk does this, because they want you guys to use the software, fall in love with the software. Then when you graduate and you're an architect or an engineer and you're moving on in the field, boom, they get you for the money. So that's how it works, okay? Uh, I don't suggest Adobe for anything because I like their stuff, but they won't do a student uh, discount. They won't do a teacher discount, and their their software is only per month or per year that you pay, and, and you never own it. So it's, it's just, I hate that. But this is really great stuff, and hopefully they never change this. So jump on it while you still can, all right? I'll see you guys later.